Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and in this uh, video I will show you how you can make this braided heart uh, Christmas uh, baskets and uh, this I made uh, when I was a little girl and uh, then I made them with uh, some uh, thin glossy uh, paper but uh, here I used uh, the 6x6 six six paper pads, it's also a bit uh, thin uh, paper so uh, these are so fun to make and uh, they are great to hang on the Christmas tree or you can use them as a, a gift uh, basket also. So I've used uh, the Christmas, a Christmas uh, Carol from Graphic 45 and also uh, last year's it was uh, the night before a Christmas collection for these baskets here. So this one was the one I filmed so I will show you how you can uh, um, make um, the template for it and also how to uh, um, uh, wave maybe it's called it together so and this you can make in different uh, shapes if you or um, sizes if you like to and also different I can show you this I cut into yeah three times and uh, this is also cut into three times but here I cut the middle part a bit wider than the sides and uh, this I cut into here are four uh, layers and here are just two so you can make it as you like to and uh, here I just added some uh, belts so you can do it really easy with a bow here and uh, maybe put a fussy cut over or you can put some flowers so you can uh, do it really easy and uh, if you like to use the fussy cuts and uh, don't uh, know how to do it I have a separate tutorial on how to do that so I will link to it below. So these are really fun to make and uh, also together with children. So then I will start the tutorial and I hope it's helpful. For uh, this heart uh, basket you need uh, two strips of uh, papers and uh, I've uh, cut mine at two by six and this you can make any size you like just take it uh, three times more so if it uh, take it at uh, three inch you can uh, take it by three by uh, nine or if you take it at two and a half you can take two and a half by seven so just uh, three double the width size here for uh, what size you want to make so but here I will use the two inch uh, strip so then I will um, can maybe show you the paper I am using uh, uh, the 6x6 six six collection for this so this is not so thick as uh, the, uh, the regular paper so then I will just take a wet cloth in the middle you can score here also if you like to so and then I will just double it so and pinch it down so pinch it well down here so I have already do done that with a green one so then we are going to make a template for it and here I cut a 2 inch wide by a 3 inch high and then from then you put a mark at um, 2 inch here and then you can take a tool and uh, draw around like so so this is 1 inch or you can take uh, if you have anything round that fits you can also draw that around at so this is one inch and then this is two inch so then we can cut this off and uh, use this as a template so then we can just hold this over and you can draw around it if you like or you can just um, hold it like so and cut around that do on both and I also like to take my marker and go uh, around the white edges here and here I'm using a SIG marker so then we can start to cut into it and here you can cut into as uh, many as you like so here on this one I just cut into the middle here or you can uh, cut into three times so that's uh, this one or you can cut into the middle and then one here and one here and then you get this so but uh, I will uh, cut into this uh, three times and uh, if you don't uh, find it difficult to put this together you can also cheat a bit and uh, just uh, glue them together like so and then cut off a strip of paper and uh, 
glue this over just to make the same. So one more. So you can do this really easy also. So just glue them on top here. So, but I will cut into them. And then I like to measure, and because this is a bit uh, thinner paper than glossy paper, I will cut, I think, uh, about two and a quarter up. So I will just take a mark here. So, I'm not sure you can see it now. So then I will cut almost up to it. So if you're using a, a thinner paper, you can... Uh, Take the mark at the two and one eight. So it depends a bit on the thickness. So then I will just eyeball it here and cut up to the line. So you don't have to be any precise here. And here you also can cut um, a larger one in the middle and smaller on the sides. I can maybe show you that as well. So this one, then you get this look here. So it's many fun things you can do with this. So, and then I will take the marks away here. So. And then we can start uh, pulling them together. So, you can start, it doesn't matter the way you start. Uh, you can put this inside or over if you like to. So I will put this over and then I will put it inside the next one. So you can see it on the back, inside. And then I will take it over on the last one. So and then I try to put this inside here. I'll give you a close up here. So. So then we have the first one, and that's the most easy one. So then we continue with putting this. This now needs to go inside here. So we take it the opposite way each time. So we just have to bend the paper a bit here. So, and then we take this over inside here. needs to go inside the red one again. And we pull it up here. So you see it's the opposite way. So so the next one needs to go over the red one. So we just open it up and pull this inside. So and this needs to go inside here. have to bend it a bit, help it a bit and open it here, and get it inside. So, and then the last one. So this is need to be go inside the green one here. So just open it a bit so I can get it inside. So you see you have to bend the paper a bit here to get it. So, so then uh, the base for is it is finished. So then we can work with it a bit and drag it out both sides. So and then we can decorate it. So here we can use some ribbon if you like to or you can use a strip of paper. Here I have cut out a strip. It's a bit over half inch so I want this to go here and I will cut it in an angle here on both sides I think. So this is also six inch long. But 
so you can take it in any length you want to. So then we can glue this on top here. So here I have some scotch quick dry glue in a fine tip bottle and it's a really helpful tool so you don't get too uh, much glue out. And I think you can get uh, this uh, fine tip uh, some sil similar in uh, most online uh, craft uh, shops. So, but yeah, I know you also can get it at Simon's and Stampen at the Tupelo design. Some similar. So then I will glue this on top here. Try to line it up. And the same on the back side. We can decorate it a bit. And here I fussy cut out the snowman, and here I have a tree cut out and a star. And uh, this uh, Christmas tree is from uh, Liana Creatives. So, but this you maybe can cut out yourself if you want to use a Christmas tree and don't have a uh, die. And uh, this is uh, cut out from uh, Twas uh, the Night Before Christmas. It uh, was uh, the last year's uh, paper collection and this star is from memory box so I just uh, added some stickles, red stickles. So then I will just glue this on the bottom a bit and on the sides here so then we can have a note inside and use it as a little gift basket. So. And color this down and take the star on the top. So. And I think I will have some pop dots uh, on uh, this uh, Santa. And here I'm using from Stick It. And these are really good and affordable. Then I will glue him on here about so. And I uh, also have this lighting that I cut out. Maybe add that as well with a couple of pop dots. So and holding a, a light here. So, and I also have this little mouse here, maybe use uh, that as well. So, I think I just will glue that straight on because it's so tiny. So, and then you can use it on your Christmas tree if you like to, or you can use it as a little gift basket to a friend and add a little note inside. So this is from the shipboard cutout, some are from uh, a Christmas carol and some from it wasn't a night before Christmas. So then you can stack this inside here. So I hope uh, this uh, tutorial was helpful and that you maybe will give it a try. It's so fun to make and it's also really fun to make uh, together with uh, children. And if you have any questions, please uh, look below the video. There you will find the link to my blog where I answer all new questions. So take care everyone and have fun creating. Bye bye!